let's talk about chronic bronchitis versus emphysema. Both of these conditions are considered chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases or COPD. First off, we have chronic bronchitis. This is a chronic productive cough and sputum lasting greater than three months. You can remember this by the memory trick, bronchitis think boogers. You can see here that a healthy airway is nice and open, where a patient with bronchitis's airway is swollen and filled with a ton of mucus, making it hard to breathe. All right, now for emphysema. In emphysema, the alveoli are damaged and enlarged, which leads to air trapping. You can remember this by the memory trick, emphysema think and trapped air. You can see here in healthy alveoli, we have intact walls and nice elastic sacs, where the alveoli in emphysema patients have destroyed walls and inelastic sacs, again leading to air trapping. All right, now for some signs and symptoms. Patients with chronic bronchitis think blue appearance. We say this because they're experiencing cyanosis or blue discoloration of the skin from hypoxemia, which is why you may hear them called blue bloaters. Well, why? <laughs> because their airways are blocked with mucus, leading to poor oxygen exchange and chronic low oxygen levels or hypoxemia, causing cyanosis, where patients with emphysema think barrel chest because they are experiencing hyperinflation of the lungs or barrel chest from all that air trapping, which is why you may hear emphysema patients called pink puffers. Well, why is this? These patients are dealing with air trapping and trouble exhaling. To prevent with that, they start to compensate by doing pursed lip breathing. This keeps their airways open a little longer. That breathing pattern gives them a puffing look. And because they're usually not hypoxic like chronic bronchitis, they still have a pink appearance, which is why they call them pink puffers. Let me know in the comments the number one risk factor for developing a COPD and why. You can find more helpful comparison charts like this in the complete nursing school bundle. We just came out with a 2026 edition which has a ton new topics, sections, and pages to help you in nursing school. You can find it on my shop, Nurse in the Making. Happy studying future nurses.